This is part 161 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss binding tree view control to web.sitemap file using sitemap data source control. This is continuation to part 160, so please watch part 160 from the ASP.NET tutorial before proceeding with this video. In part 158, we discussed binding menu control to web.sitemap file using sitemap data source control. Binding tree view control to a web.sitemap file is very much similar. Let's understand this with an example. So if we want to bind the tree view control to web.sitemap file, the first step is to add web.sitemap file. In part 158, we have already added the web.sitemap file. So this is the project that we have been working with in the previous sessions of this video series. And this is the web.sitemap file that we have added in part 158. So that's the first step. And the second step is to drag and drop sitemap data source control. At the moment, if you look at this web form 14, we have a tree view control here. But then at the moment, this is being bound to an XML file using XML data source control. So first of all, let's get rid of this binding. And to do that, let's get rid of this data source ID attribute because we don't want this to be bound to an XML file. We're going to bind this to a web.sitemap file. And the second step is to remove these data bindings as well. So at the moment, we have a tree view control that's not bound to any file. Let's get rid of this XML data source control as well. All right, now let's drag and drop sitemap data source control. The sitemap data source control will automatically read data from web.sitemap file. So that's our second step. And the third step is to associate the tree view control with sitemap data source control using data source ID attribute of the tree view control. So let's set data source ID attribute and this is going to be equal to the ID of the sitemap data source control. That's it, we are done. Let's go ahead and run this now. So tree view control should be reading its data from web.sitemap file now. So we get our data now from web.sitemap file, but look at the problem here. The problem is it's displaying dummy root, which is present in web.sitemap file. Now we don't want that dummy root to be displayed. And to achieve that, all we have to do is set this show starting node attribute of sitemap data source control to false. So let's go ahead and do that. So within webform 14.aspx, let's set show starting node attribute to false. Let's give it a run. And now look at that. We don't have that dummy uh, root node displayed. And now when we click on any of the items here, look at that, I'm going to click on upload resume. So upload resume is opened in the same window, but we don't want that. Let's say when we click on the link in a tree view control, we want that target page to be opened in a new window. If that's the case, all we need to do is set the target attribute of the tree view control to underscore blank. Let's go ahead and do that. So target equals underscore blank. Let's give it a run. So let's click on upload resume. Look at that. The page is now opened in a new window. And we have our original page here. When we click on edit resume, again, that's open in a new window. And we have the original page here. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.